All right, we're gonna do a quick little exercise using um, something called radial symmetry. And what radial symmetry is, is just um, instead of being symmetrical with one uh, line down the center and just having it like a butterfly on either side, radial symmetry is like a pizza or a wagon wheel that any way that you cut it, it's going to be symmetrical on the other side. Now the coolest part is that um, you can use this little tool right above here and um, the first one is just the y-axis symmetry, x-axis symmetry, and then we are going to use this radial symmetry button. I want you to use black because we're going to make it um, a coloring book for someone else in the class to color. So make sure that you are choosing something that would be uh, like a coloring book, so just a black on a white background. The tool we're going to use is a fountain pen so that it's the same thickness all the way across. And I'm just going to focus on one slice of this pie and I'm going to do more of a mandala. So I'm thinking about an interesting design for someone to color so there's little pieces in it. I think I'm going to do mine a little bit more of like an organic shape like a splat of some kind like that um, I can also split it into multiple pieces if I want to I can add some designs like circles going around this looks like more of like an amoeba you could do jagged edges. It doesn't need to be organic. You can have like a mix of some. You could look at some mandala designs and go from go off of that. You could also add in some details that aren't just shapes. It is really up to you. You just need to fill the entire page. So if I was thinking about coloring this or your peer coloring it. Think about all the different spaces they could use different colors on and see if you can design a drawing that is interesting and would be fun to have like a little bit of a relaxing color. So once you are done with that, you're gonna save it and I'm going to give you a different partner to um, match you up with and then they are going to be the ones coloring this in. You can move this center symmetry to somewhere else on your page. So if you don't want it to be perfectly in the center here, you could, um, before you start, you could move this off to one side, then you would just have to fill the biggest space here to make sure that it's filled. I'm not sure why I'm interested in that kind of shape. Um, so go ahead and fill it all the way with as many details as you possibly can so that there's not a lot of big white spaces. Um, I am expecting the entire thing to be filled with um, lots of small spaces so that if you were the one coloring it, you would have lots of areas to kind of choose what color goes where. Don't leave anything really large. Um, go ahead and submit your coloring page uh, when it's finished and then you will be coloring someone else's to finish this project off.